Okay, here's my template. And it goes from that side all the way down over to that side. And that's four feet long, 48 inches. On the ends, on this area right in here, this will be cut out, but this is just for reference. So this will be the end of the bridge and it'll be just like that on the other end as well. And I'm going to show you what I kind of plan on doing with some of this wood as I uh, glue it down. I'm going to start off with one of these 24 inch wide beams. And as you can see, the red beams on the back side, it's on the bottom. And the popsicle sticks and these dark green will be on top. And another uh, 24 inch beam will be up on top just oriented a different way. So I'm going to start off and put a piece on the red line then I'm going to put another one on this other line this other red line and just take my popsicle sticks and line them up Kind of put them over the top of it, but you understand how this is going to work. Let's take the other ones and lay it up next to the other popsicle stick that was in the center. Make sure that's lined up. Basically, that's about it, for the start of it anyway. Now the next thing I want, would do is take another one of these 24 inch uh, strips and once I have all the pieces laid out in this section, I would glue down this other section over the top of it. Once that's put in there on both sides. Take another one of these strips, so I'll put this over here, take another strip, instead of laying it down flat like this, I'm going to put it up on end because this is the actual top face or the bottom face of the bridge and I'll give that uh, more stability and, rig and rigidity uh, feel to the each one of these beams and make it stronger. So each one of these beams can, can bend downward. I don't want it to bend it that way, so if I put it this way, it's going to give a, uh, a more stable and stronger uh, girder or beam, whatever it's called. I need to figure out how these things work, what each name of these bridges, bridge parts mean. I keep mixing them all up. So I apologize, but I'm going to learn. I'm going to keep learning. So all I got to do is once those are glued together and I put in this other beam down at the bottom, it makes it nice and tight. And this will pretty close be a uh, good fit on the bottom of this uh, bridge. And this may just work out because if I've got a little lip on this side here, when I get to the point of putting these cross sections in, they'll have a little lip to sit on. I'll just notch out the edge of the popsicle stick, cut it down so it's flush with the top of the board, the beam, or the truss now that it's built, and uh, we'll have something to sit on when I glue it down. And that's pretty much how I'm going to build it. At least this section. Now the next section will be putting both halves together and I'll use some of those smaller uh, sticks that I had and cut those down to size and use those as uh, crosses 
between each one of these trusses. And if you look at any of the pictures of uh, truss bridges, um, it'll look just pretty much like that, these little crosses right in here. And then on the bottom ends, I'll just completely encase the end of it with uh, some cross members, make it a lot stronger. Keep the shifting from side to side if it, if it does happen. I have a feeling this is going to be an extremely strong bridge. I could probably hang on it, but I probably won't because I'm going to put too much time into it to do that. Unless I really want to destroy it. But once I get this basic box truss put together, I'll take the bridge, I imagine this is a, the bridge I want, and I'll just lay it on top of there, glue it down, and we're almost done. What I'll do before that, I'm thinking, is I should probably paint this, because I'm going to want it uh, a a metal kind of look, so I'm going to paint it the same color as the, the deck girder bridge, and which will be gray. And so I may want to weather it a little bit. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not very good at weathering. I'm really good at painting one single color, and that's it. Um, so I got to learn how to do weathering someday. So that could be a, a different project for another day. Right now, I want to make a, a brand new bridge. Everything's brand new. And someday I'll weather it down. So one other tool you need is sandpaper um, or a file that will uh, file down the edges of your wood. Well, your popsicle sticks, not your wood. But uh, other than that, you can basically use just about any tool you need to to get your popsicle stick the right shape and right angle to fit close together on your template. So there you have it for right now. Um, when I get ready to start actually assembling, I'll make another quick video, maybe a time lapse to kind of show you uh, some of the major steps and completion steps. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to DeBob's N Scale Man Cave. And uh, it'll be right down here at the bottom of the video if you really want to do it. Or it might be up here, a little link up in the corner. You can click there too. Have a good day, real fans. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing this ugly shirt because. Um, well, I just got back from my undercover job uh, down on the corner, uh, you know, looking out for nefarious characters. And, uh, well, plus it was ugly shirt Thursday. Have a good day.